Hi friends, I'm Gina with Country Family Values and I'm glad you're here. Today we're doing pork enchilada verde. Okay, so I've got a pork roast here and I've got it chopped into chunks except for the piece that has a bone in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all in there. I've got about four or five pounds. I have some spices here. It's in, I'll put it down below, but it includes oregano, um, kosher salt, some black pepper. Here I have some cumin and some coriander. I have a couple of jalapenos chopped up. I'm gonna add some garlic. tablespoons. I have a cup of chicken broth. Make sure your lid is in the ceiling position and set it for 60 minutes. So I've got my oven heating to 400 degrees. The timer has gone off on this and I'm going to finish releasing it. Okay, so what I plan to do is I plan to drain um, my pork uh, and, and reserve it, you know, to, just in case it goes to sticking because I am going to heat up the cream cheese and the salsa and stuff together in the instant pot, but I want to make sure that I have a way to help it not stick. Be right back with you guys. So I'm going to shred this up a little bit, or maybe a lot, I should say. I'm going to give this a, a, a spray with it's a um, homemade um, cooking spray with olive oil. I'm going to pour this pork back in the Instant Pot. It's really smelling good in here. Turn on the saute function. It's pretty close to what the can on the old El Paso says is what I'm using. So I'm using two cans of green chili enchilada sauce. Uh, instead of one can, I'm using two of the green chilies, I should say. And I'm putting in a block of cream cheese. Let me cut that up a little bit. I'm using cheddar cheese, but I also like to use uh, Monterey Jack sometimes, so you guys can pick what you like. And, you know, I just poured what was left over the top here, but you definitely don't have to do that. You can fill them as full as you can get them, or you can make another pan if you want. So when I get all this cheese on here, I'm going to pop it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes to get it nice and bubbly, mostly to melt that cheese since everything else is hot.
I'm gonna give this a taste for you guys. Oh, it sure smells good. Mm, it is good. Mm, it's really good. Another bite. Mm, it's really good. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.